Hello, Federal Owen no Twin here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Dragon Quest IV. In this episode, we're going to start Chapter Three: Tornico and the Extravagant Excavation. Far to the north of Endor, tucked away in the Emerald Hills, lies the small town of Lakanaba. Small town that is nevertheless home to a rather large man by the name of Tornico Taloon. And although he's but a menial employee for now, he has a grand dream of becoming the greatest arms merchant in all the land. So this guy is kind of like the, uh, the everyman of the game. He's just a big lump. While you've been away with the fairies, I've been toiling over your packed lunch again. Here you are. And hey, look at that. Tornico's wife, Tessie, gives him a packed lunch for the day. Isn't that nice? I think that's nice. And yeah, I don't have any fellow party members to talk to at the moment. Still, you'd think Tornico would sometimes talk to himself, right? But yeah, there will be uh, guest party members in this chapter. They won't be, like, permanent ones that we'll be able to get in, like, Chapter 5, but... We do get a few. Alright, so this guy... Yeah, I want to clip that leather hat I just got. And the pack lunch that you get, uh, you can sell it. Oh, yeah, and that's right, Tornico can, uh appraise items that he gets, which is really cool. Yeah, this guy's got an Irish accent, which is a hell of a lot easier to understand than, uh, than a Scottish accent. And that Russian crap in the last chapter. Seven gold coins, okay. So yeah, I think he can do that with all of them. Yeah. And he'll tell you how much it's worth if you try and sell it. So yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, praise. Praise these crappy plain clothes. Oh yeah. Definitely beats being naked. Pictures of cute animals, eh? Anyways. Yeah, we're just a merchant. We're like a fledgling merchant. And yeah, we want to, uh... Start our own business someday. Which is nice. Hey, 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 watch your mouth. Yeah, maybe, maybe this guy's just lucky, I don't know. Maybe she just likes the blue hair. Oh, yeah, we could go in there now and work for this guy, except I wanted to actually explore the town first. What the hell? But I, okay, fine, I guess we're gonna do this now. Jeez. All right, so this part is the real, this part is really boring here because this guy er, is going to be sitting here all day long, telling people, "Here's our items," and then, yes, you can have an oaken club. Yay! Every now and then there'll be somebody that comes in and will actually uh, sell you an item. Uh, that you don't have in the shop. Yes, you can have an oaken club. So yeah, you can get like a hunter's bow. Really, I'm just hoping for somebody to come in here and uh, actually sell a cautery sword. Because uh, if somebody sells a cautery sword, uh, then you can buy it from the shop if you want. Which I totally want to do. I guess so. So whatever.
And yeah, sometimes when people ask for copper swords or whatever they're buying, and you sell it to them, they'll be like, Oh, I can't carry anymore, or something stupid like that. Apparently that's a lot worse than the NES version, too. Sure, you can have a divine dagger. I don't care. I could not do this. If I was, uh, I would get too bored with this kind of work. There'd have to be a lot of other stuff to, uh, occupy my time while doing this. Because, yeah, I would get bored just, stand, just, you know, standing around like this guy waiting for people to come in. Oh yeah, and by the way, you can uh, quit working whenever you want. You don't have to do this all day long. So yeah, I'm just going to show one day of doing this, and uh, that's it. And then I'll probably just off-screen the, uh, the days of actually trying to get the cautery sword. What? What do you mean you're a wee bit short of odds for it? You suck. Well, I suppose there isn't price tags on this stuff, so how the hell is he supposed to know how much it is? So yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly how much gold you have to earn before it's considered the, the, the end of the day. Come on. Yeah, I'll still sell it to you anyways. I don't care if you can equip it or not. If you're gonna buy it, you're gonna buy it. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Ooh, who's this guy? Why the hell would you want to buy an Oaken Club? You look like a guy that could probably use something better than that. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of this chapter. I mean, it's got some cool things about it, but I'm not really a fan of this chapter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, this is taking forever. Are we done for the day? Oh no. Yeah, you can probably see how, you know, tedious this might get after a while. Especially if you're doing like multiple days of this in a row, you know? You just want to get a freaking cautery sword? I have a weapon I'm looking to sell, would you be interested? Sure. A hunter's bow, huh? Sure, I'll buy it. Why the hell not? Somebody else might actually try to come in the shop and buy that hunter's bow. And I'm just going to keep telling them no. Really? I don't want it. I don't want a copper sword. I already have copper swords. Uh oh. No. No! 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 How many times do I gotta say no? 
You bastard. I'm not I'm not trying to be funny. I, I don't wanna freaking sell you this. Dude, would you quit freaking asking? How many times do I gotta say no? Finally, God, fucking moron, man. How many times do I gotta say no? When something's not for sale, it's not for sale. All right? So yeah, um, the items that you buy or from other people that bring them in, uh, other than the first three that you saw at the beginning there, uh, will actually disappear if somebody else buys them. So yeah, you don't want other NPCs to buy what you, uh, buy from other people. Do not talk about the hunter's bow. Sure, you can have a copper sword. Fucking bastard. I'm not trying to be funny. Alright. Shut up. Shut up. You're like those fucking idiots in Final Fantasy VIII. It's like the goddamn card game. How many fucking times do I gotta say no? Shut up. Quit trying to buy my hunter's bow, you piece of crap. I'm not selling it to you, alright? It's not gonna happen. Good grief. That is retarded. Yeah, you can have an oaken club. me you stupid cunt I'm not selling it to you quit fucking asking why are these people so fucking stupid shut up get out of my store you stupid bitch holy fucking shit man this bitch doesn't fucking goddamn take a hint how many times do I gotta say no? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Wow. I've never had to say no this many times. Jeez! Get out of my store! Where are the freaking cops when you need them? Yeah, you can have a copper sword. Don't ask about a hunter's bow. Thank you. You can have an oaken club. Be my guest. Sure. Are we done for the day? How long does this go for? Finally. God. It's like a whole freaking video. What did I earn for the day? A hundred gold? That took forever. Wow. You know... That's a crock. I demand a raise. That 
was a pile of poopy. So yeah, I definitely gotta start my own business if I'm gonna get paid like this. It's like slave wages. And yeah, we can't go through there without... I'm thinking, yeah, we probably need an ultimate key to get through those. So yeah, we won't be getting those until much later on in the game. Anyways, let's uh, explore the town at night. And then I'll end the episode. One dark night, a peddler found himself lost in the woods where he came upon a village he'd never seen before. The people of the village were exceptionally friendly, and although he was a perfect stranger to them, they invited him to stay. With great relief, the peddler accepted their hospitality and spent the night there in the village. Then morning came, and the peddler awoke to find nothing but wasteland. The village had disappeared without a trace. Okay, and the moral of the story is... Some people are crazy and they dream up villages. Really? Yeah, maybe I can hire somebody to fight my battles for me since I'm not really good at that stuff myself. But yeah, Tornico, he's actually not a bad fighter. He's okay. He's like a weaker version of Ragnar. He's got some, some pretty cool, like, uh, thief abilities. Like, uh... Or they're kind of like thief abilities. Like he can sniff out treasure and stuff, which is pretty nice. So I guess, yeah, it's kind of like a thief. Except he's not a thief, he's a merchant. He's like a merchant and a thief mixed into one, I think. place like Endor. Oh. But yeah, remember that empty private property on Endor? Yeah, we'll be buying that in this chapter. Alright, we get a leather shield. Be equipping that. Sell it for uh, 67 gold. Which isn't bad. But now we'd rather use it right now. We need all the uh, protection we can get. Especially if we're going to be traveling alone for a little bit. Oops. Oh, well, I just stepped on him. It'll catch holy hell! <laughs> like in uh, Final Fantasy 7, you know? <laughs> Don't step on the flowers, you'll catch holy hell, or whatever the hell uh, they were saying in that game. It's like, holy hell? I mean, where the hell did they come up with that? It was just so odd that it's, it's definitely one of those memorable quotes from that game, for sure. Even though I'm not really a huge fan of that game. I mean, there's some things I like about it, for sure. But, yeah, not my most favorite Final Fantasy game. And look at this, it's a doggy! Hey, doggy! Can't say hi to the doggy? Well, we can say hi to the doggy, but we can't pet the doggy, because... Old Man Finn. Oh... So your son just leaves your the dog behind and forces his father to look after it. Wow, that's kind of messed up. Ooh, look at that antidote herb. Never did break this stuff. 
All right. Well, at this point, I think it's just time to, uh, oh, you know what? I never ate that packed lunch, so I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Because we're going to get another one anyways. I think you could sell the uh, pack lunch as well uh, to make a little bit of gold. So yeah, I'll probably do that um, off screen, you know, in days to come as I'm working at the shop. And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to mention uh, what all kind of weapons you can, uh, you can acquire to be sold in that shop. But whatever you do... Uh, do not sell any any of the weapons to anybody in the shop that you care about, uh, other than the first three. I mean, the Copper Sword, the Vine Dagger, and uh, the Oaken Club you can sell as many times as you want, and they'll still be in the shop. And anything else that people sell to the shop, do not sell that stuff to anybody else, because you will lose it, meaning you can't buy it yourself. Like right now, I could just go there and buy it myself if I wanted to. Like that, uh, that hunter's bow. I can actually go there by myself. I'm not sure if Tonico can use it or not. But whatever. I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest IV. In the next episode, I'm going to show off all the different cool merchant stuff. And we're going to explore the uh, this town during the day, actually, instead of at night. So there you go. This is Veteran 0 and 2 I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.